Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the Kangaroo plugin uh, to design a simple parametric tensile uh, structure using the Kangaroo plugin. This example can run on any four pointed surfaces. So if I just draw this and set this to the input, uh, you can see that we can update that. We can use the solid point on and change the location of the corners so we can get an update. Uh, again, remember that we can change the height of each of those corners. So let's get started uh, from scratch and learn this step by step. Uh, so what I want to do here is to draw a four sided surface. We can use this three or four corners a surface or we can just draw a rectangle. I'm going to just draw a rectangle, for example, and uh, bring this inside Grasshopper by going to the params menu, geometry and surface. Just right click here and set one surface and we will have this inside uh, the Grasshopper canvas. Uh, now because we wanted to use the Kangaroo plugin, uh, what I usually do and use is use the main solver and the bouncy solver is there for this tutorial because we want to see a, like an animation like of uh, the tensile structure. You can also use the solver or the zombie solver. The zombie solver is going to give you the final results without any uh, updates. So let's go for the bouncy solver and talk about how we can uh, simulate the tensile mesh. I prefer to convert any NURB surface into a mesh before I work with Kangaroo. So for a NURB surface here, you can go to the mesh utility and use this mesh surface component. And let me put the full names on so you can see the inputs and outputs. Uh, the surface you want to divide into UV count, a uh, number of UV counts. So I'm going to say from three to 12 and let's just copy paste this. So here you can see that we can change the number of divisions we have. And if I bake that, this is going to be a mesh. So this is going to be the final results for a mesh. Okay, after converting a nerves into a mesh, uh, what I prefer to do in the Kangaroo plugin is to use the show component. So give the mesh and this is the geometry you want to work with and give it to the goal object. Uh, I believe when you give this to the first uh, goal, uh, the output is going to be the mesh. So uh, other goals, when it's connected to the goal object, the first one is going to be the mesh and we can just select it with a list item uh, zero, which I'm going to explain. And now after converting that into a Kangaroo goal object, we also have to go to the goals mesh and use this uh, edge length uh, goal here. And so what does this do? Uh, actually, this is going to convert each of the edges of a mesh into a spring. And you can say uh, the multiplication of the current length, uh, a number slider between zero and one. So for example, if I give it zero, uh, I'm saying that it can shorten in, uh, until it reaches the zero length. Strength is just one, and we're going to use the shift key to add it to the goal object. And as you can see here, something happened. It just went small. If I increase that number, you can see that it's going to show you something weird. Uh, to see the final results, what you usually have to do is to select a button and give it to the reset input. As you can see here, whenever I click the button, it's going to run. And also, if you want to just pause the simulation, just use a TOG Boolean toggle and give it to the on. This is actually saying, will it run or not? So if it's false, it's not running. If it's true, it's running. So you can see that I can use that. If I just put this to false, it's not going to change. And if I put this to true, it's going to just run again. Okay, because the mm, meshes doesn't have any corners or any uh, anchors, the next step is to give it an anchor. So I'm going to just use this anchor and give the corners of that to the point input. So I can go to the surface, deconstruct BREP, and it's going to give us four vertices, obviously. And we can use that as the corner, uh, as the anchor of this tensile structure. I'm going to use the shift key and add it to the goal object. You can also flatten this input if you want to just put them all in one group. And as you can see here, something is happening. I can just hide this in Rhino. Uh, I also usually turn everything off, select it and preview off. And uh, as you can see here, the output here is showing a series of uh, meshes and lines. So what we want to do is to select the first uh, 
output just go to the set and select list item and pick up the first one we can just turn this off also so now we can see the mesh and whenever i click on the reset button it's going to show you the final results we can increase the number of uv count and as you can see here this is going to show you zero is going to give you more deformation and one is actually no deformation so that is also a useful tool uh, okay to finish this tutorial what i want to do here is to move these corners a little bit up so you can give a target point and to do that we can say move or you can find it in transform uh, and move and then give it to the target and then the motion is a uh, vector so i'm going to say unit z and because we have four points i'm going to give four number sliders to the factor but the easier way is to go to the pams menu and select this utility gene pool which is a bunch of number sliders packed into one component double click it i need four number sliders uh, from zero to maybe 30. and now you can see that you can move each of them so let's increase that maybe to 70 okay and that is how you can move the points as an anchor to a new target and also if you want to show it with a line you can go to the curve and select a line with two point and here you go you can see how easy it is to just show them as a line and this is really good if you want to design something like this maybe for your project we can just decrease that or increase it okay that's it so at the end you can also bake this mesh if i bake it uh, i will have that in rhino and i can use it uh, obviously in a four-pointed surface i hope this tutorial was useful if you have any questions just ask below this lesson and thanks for watching see you next time bye